Two AI giants, Claude and Perplexity, are changing the way we work in 2025. The big question, which one really delivers? On the left, Claude, empathetic AI for creative thinking, and on the right, Perplexity, your real-time research powerhouse. Let's skip the buzzwords and get to the real stuff. Each category earns points, and at the end, you'll see exactly who comes out on top. The result might not be what you expect. All right, before we jump in, here's a quick mind map of all the categories we're going to compare. Pricing, content accuracy, coding, creative writing, research, conversation quality, summarization, and of course, their actual AI models. That way, you know exactly what's coming up. First up, pricing. Okay, so Claude comes in strong with a free tier, which is great if you just want to mess around and not spend a cent. The pro version is $20 a month, pretty standard for AI. And if you're a heavy user, there's the max plan. But honestly, that one's a bit steep at $100 a month. Now, Perplexity also offers a free tier for casual use and a pro plan at, yep, $20 a month. But their max plan, that's $200 a month, which honestly feels like a big jump. So yeah, both are great for starters, but things get pricey fast at the top end. Let's talk content accuracy. Claude is pretty solid here. 84% satisfaction on G2, and with all that extensive training, it doesn't hallucinate as much. Plus, it has this ethical filter thing that's actually reassuring. Only bummer, no real-time web access. Perplexity, though, gets even higher, 86% satisfaction. And here's the kicker, it cites its sources. Like you get actual verification and real-time web search baked in. It's super reliable though maybe a bit utilitarian at times. So both are accurate, but they just go about it differently. Coding and technical stuff? Oh, and here's something cool about Claude. It actually excels at generating custom code, and it can do these data visualizations that look legit, not just random text. There's actual graphical output. Downside is, it can't grab the latest libraries on the fly. Meanwhile, Perplexity is more of a code search buddy. It can pull examples and cite docs from the web, which is kind of handy when you're debugging. But honestly, if you really want creative original code, Claude takes the crown here. Perplexity is okay, but just not on the same level. Wait, quick fun fact. Did you know that while Perplexity uses GPT-4 under the hood, Claude runs its own unique model that's totally built for safety and ethical alignment? Kind of wild how they take such different approaches to making AI smarter and safer. All right, creative writing. Claude's got that empathetic spark. Like, seriously, sometimes it's so human, you forget it's an AI. The stories just flow. And honestly, the narrative style here is next level. Sometimes it gets a bit wordy, but I'll take that over being basic any day. Perplexity's good too, don't get me wrong. It writes pretty formally and keeps things structured, but you'll notice it doesn't really tug at your heartstrings. Less drama, more essay. If you want personality, Claude is the clear winner for creative stuff. Now on to research and real-time info. So, Claude has a strong base from its training, but no web search. Like, it's flying blind when it comes to current events in 2025. Perplexity, though, this is its thing. You get real-time search, instant source citations, up-to-date info, and actual fact-checking. It's honestly perfect if you're always chasing the latest news or doing academic stuff. So yeah, hands down, perplexity wins when it comes to research and real-time information. Conversational quality. Let's chat about how nice it is talking to these AIs. Claude scores a massive 9.5 out of 10 for natural conversation. The context management? Also really high. It remembers your chats and keeps things coherent. Sometimes, yeah, it rambles a bit, but it feels real. Perplexity isn't bad. It gets an 8.6 out of 10 and even suggests follow-up questions, which is kind of smart. Context's decent at 7.9, but overall it's a bit more straight-laced, less vibey. If you want your AI to feel like a chat buddy, Claude is your pick. Summarization skills. Claude's great at writing fluent, structured summaries, especially if you need to condense long-form stuff into something readable. Only thing is, it doesn't cite its sources, so it's kind of trust the process. Perplexity, though, is very concise and backs up its summaries with references and fact checks. If you want more narrative, go Claude. If you need bulletproof summaries, perplexity's the move. Kind of a tie here. Depends on your style. Last but not least, AI models. Claude runs its own proprietary Claude 3 model, which is all about safety and context. And honestly, it's pretty advanced in a lot of ways. It's locked into its own architecture though. Perplexity 
actually leverages big names like GPT-4 and a few others. So it's got a wide knowledge base and great language chops. But, and it's a big but, it depends on third-party models, which can be hit or miss. For tech nerds, Clog gets points for consistency and handling context, but perplexity strength is flexibility. Still, Claude edges out slightly here. Here's a quick radar chart so you can see where Claude and Perplexity each shine and where they could brush up a bit. It's kind of cool to visualize just how close these two are, but those subtle differences really make or break your final pick. Okay, so here's my two cents. If you're all about creative writing, coding, or just want your AI conversation to feel more natural, Claude's the one. But if you're constantly Googling stuff, want real-time answers, and need facts straight from the source, Perplexity is your go-to. Honestly, if you can swing it, Use both. Pick the right tool for the job each time, and you won't go wrong. Ready to boost your productivity with AI? Try both Claude and Perplexity and see which one actually fits your workflow. Don't just take my word for it. Give them a go.